Good morning, everybody. Orange Jay here with another War of the Visions video, and today we have a very special video because we are joined today by the one and only Indie Earth hanging out down there in the corner. Indy, what is going on today? Hey, I'm so excited to do this. Hello. Thanks Hello. for having me. All right, so we uh, are gonna do an account review, but a different kind of account review. If you've seen them before, a lot of times I just take screenshots, put them on the screen. I say, hey, you have this, you don't have that. This would be cool and so on. But with Indy joining the uh, YouTube channel, we decided to do a little uh, collaboration here where we're gonna build her a team for a reason. And the reason is going to be cost limited Guild Wars coming up. We got a 250 unit cost Guild Wars and uh, we're just going to put it together a team. So we're going to look at some of her stuff. We're going to throw a team together. Indy, what element are we going to use? And like, what do you like in that element? So we're going to be going for ice at this time because this is my strongest element. And because we have some of the best characters in the game with Laswell and Bagrias and Arabea. Bagrias is uh, absolutely. So I'm going to throw some screenshots on the screen. I did pre-sort these knowing we were doing ice. So if you're watching right now, here's what Indie Earth has for ice units. And the beautiful thing about Laswell is he's not a very high cost unit, which allows us to really work around. And in fact, since we're not using any 100 cost units, we can definitely do a uh, full UR team at cost 250. I think that's not a problem. So putting units together, let's throw the game back on the screen. We can do something here that I think would be cool. Uh, we'll work around Laswell, like best dude, right? That's cost 80. Then we've got uh, Aranea here. If we go Laswell, Aranea, we're at 170. And then Agrius will put us to a nice clean 250. So this is not only a like full UR team. This is a tank and two big time damage dealers that synergize together. So is this kind of like, does this look good so far? So far, that's great. So far, so good. Best okay, characters. So I'm so happy. Right. And this is all about feeling good about who you're playing, because that is the number one thing. That's why we play games. Do you do you have Kane on this account? Indy? No, we don't talk about Kane. Andy, Andy does Kane. not like Kane or Snow for that matter. I was going to say, because you know who would be great would be Snow, but how do you, no. what's your feelings on, yeah, no, no, no. not happening. <laughs> Terrible character. Terrible. Not happening. Not pulling. Terrible care. Okay. G amazing character in War of the Visions where you do not have to experience him in his natural habitat. Not enough of a good redemption. I'm sorry. Okay. Fair. That is fair. Now, let's go ahead. Let's look at the next bit we need to do here. We've got the units figured out. Let's go to espers. So here's what we've got for ice espers. We're going to try to make use of these. We also have uh, Odin and Dark Odin, but somehow Indy Earth is a day one player, not missed a day. How many times you pulled Bahamut? I never actually actively pursued Bahamut, to be honest. It just never made its way to me. I'm sorry. Does it make you feel better that I've off bannered him like twice? No. <laughs> no? But does it make you feel better that I once spent like 200k viz going for him and then later off-bannered him twice? <laughs> yeah, that's a sad so story. That, that was the original pain and suffering poll video was oh, no. me and Two Cent just crying about Bahamut oh, no. together. Yeah. And then when I pulled him later, I was like, cool. Uh, wow. You just get to be mad at the game at that point. You do. You do. But okay. For the sake of this team build, um, I do think Odin is important because Agrius' biggest weakness is that she is slow. 69 agility just walking into a team here. So I think you can throw Odin on her and still have her be a tank because kind of a cool thing about Odin is yes he is mainly a physical DPS Esper but you can go in here and you have slash resist and missile resist nodes. I think we will see a lot of dark teams in this limited guild wars. They do a lot of missile and slashing in dark. They also do a lot of magic. Agrius is a good magic tank kind of anyway. So you can kind of lean into the slash missile, missile resist, then go attack and man eater for her damage or uh, slash attack up. She likes all of Odin. Odin is just amazing for Agrius. Then if we're going for uh, if we're going for, of course, the game's going to load slow. For Aranea and Laswell, the big thing you want to do when you are setting up 
espers for them and vision cards and gear is you want your dps units especially in a guild war situation to go right after each other that way when they're hitting they're chaining a cool thing here is laswell comes in with 66 agility arnea comes in with 66 agility so basically as long as we don't screw that up we're set they kind of did it for us um so laswell I really like, you have Fenrir as an option. I really like Fenrir on him. He likes that slash attack. He likes that magic resist, because I think we'll see some Dark Lucia here. So I'd go I'd go Fenrir there. And then for Aranea, um, I actually think Titan. Even though he was he's not in Ice Element Esper, Titan has Pierce Attack, he has Spirit, and he has Accuracy. If you're fighting these dark teams that are coming up in Limited Guild Wars, one thing you just have to watch out for is they do these like, and you, Eddie, have you seen this? Tell me if you see this. These like random little Leelas on a non-evasion team that have exactly enough evasion to just dodge everything because you're not running accuracy. Absolutely everything, yep. Yes, and those are super annoying. So Titan can help you overcome that because he's got a whole accuracy tree, plus you can go attack, pierce attack, and spirit for those like Lucias that you pro or Black Rose Helena or Dark Fina. Dark Fina is everywhere. Dark Vina is literally everywhere. Her little Curse of the Serpent, I have re-raise and I'm OP. Yeah, she's a good unit. So, with this Esper setup, Laswell's agility goes to 81. Arnea's agility goes to 81. We are on point, and Agrius goes to 89. So the nice thing here, Agrius just be faster than the other two DPS units. Let her just run to towards the enemy, soak damage, and then have Arnea and Laswell try to like, you know, chain wombo combo things down okay next up vision cards let's take a peek at some vision cards here now importantly laswell's vision card is level 99 i think that's almost a must have you need that agility buff right like you just gotta have it if you're gonna be fighting against these dart teams they are so fast it isn't dart getting an agility buff on this map for limited guild wars should we have looked at that before we started the video? Probably. I can find out while we look. Let me okay. check. Perfect. I, I think it is. And if they are, and you're running a slow team, prepare to get lapped to death, especially if they're throwing a Lemure in there or something. It could Your team might just get one turn and get blown off the map. So something like Laswell's card here, give you that agility up for your group. Spirit now you piercing rate up, dark unit magic up. Okay, so it's spirit piercing and magic up. Yeah, Oof. Dark Lucia. Oof. Um, huh. Who just got a buff on the JP side, and they said that they were probably going to give that buff to Global on day one. So uh, <laughs> look forward to that. Now, one thing I think you can also do, which you do have at level 99 here, Odin gives accuracy two ice units this will help again with that little leela problem and give you enough accuracy that if you just sprinkle in a little bit on gear you shouldn't just get randomly avoided you're still probably not going to want to fight evasion teams but you at least won't get you know awkwardly randomly avoided and even though you hate snow even though you hate him you did build his vision card i did well it's a good vision card i had to at least get that for my ice team oh yeah so you gotta look at his face in vision card slot one. But I think you slot one Snow's vision card, you slot one Laswell's vision card, and you slot one... Oh, Laswell's vision card on Laswell. Like, I just... On my... Yeah. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and move That's that. a default? Oh, it's a default. A hundred percent, yes. And then you slot one Odin. And I think this is like a really nice uh, start here. Now, you do have Dark Odin, but it's not level 99 yet, right? Not so, quite there yet. Yeah, so um, I still do think that that is worth throwing in here. So, like, you get okay. a ton of buffs from that. And considering, like, what you have maxed out, I do still think the attack and HP will be really good for this team. Then, Fenrir, you have Fenrir maxed. Yep. Magic resist, you're, there's going to be dark mages. We're going to be fighting dark mages. It's just a thing. So, give your team a little extra magic resist. I know, like, magic piercing is a thing. Make them build it. Like, make them actually do it. So give yourself 10 more, and you get that attack buff for your group as well. Wait, is Dark, does Dark Odin give that? It does. So here, we have a little bit of awkward synergy here. We oh. might rethink the Dark Odin. 
um, and go for the Fenrir, but we could also run Glacial. You have Glacial maxed yeah. at it as an MR card. So let's sprinkle a little Glacial in here. That's going to give us Ice Attack up. And for Aranea, it'll give her a little more Ice Attack up. Has good stats. I like that. So we're really, with this setup here, you're ready to go beat down some... Uh, you, you have a lot of damage. And you have two big-time carries. If we needed to replace Dark Odin... We could just go look through kind of like what you have of level 99 vision cards and uh, sprinkle something in. So, like, do you have a uh, do you have a thought here? Do you have anything you'd like to use? Um, I've been a big, big fan of Secrets of the Hearts because of luck, because dodging. Um, okay. It's an earth card, but I just really like the picture on it. Is that lame? I don't know. No, really you know cute. what? Let's do it. Let's <laughs> just do really it. really cute. Okay. It's We're a good attack. Go and you're right, 18% luck will be nice, helping you out with those uh, anti-evades. And we're just throwing it on Agrius. So let's do that. That gives you a nice, considering what you have, right? Like you don't have all of the ice cards maxed, but having just these maxed, this is a very, very respectable like vision card Esper setup. And if we look at agilities, your RNA is at 89, your Laswell is at 90. So they're gonna go right after each other. And we want Agrius to be faster than she's way faster at 97. So that's a really good setup. Then you have Agrius's plus one sword, which yeah. is going to help you counter evade even more. That's a super good uh, anti evasion piece of gear. I would also ex uh, I would also suggest bells on Agrius. You really want her to, L you know, LB confuse somebody and then come in there. Like the beautiful thing about Agrius, besides herself, is that she can win you a fight alone because she could just come in there status effect goddess of the game when you if your damage fails maybe agris just carries maybe she, just she does have the option to silence the mages so yes she does she does and disable they're all running high faith so all of her status effects have a better chance she's super good into this um as far as things to turn on and off for agris i would just turn off every group buff she has um, if you can set it up where she is so far by herself that she would never have the option of moving to somebody else, you might be able to get away with her, uh, with her magic shield. But the drawback there is if she's out of range of the enemy and it's a group buff, she will run to her group and yeah. buff them. And then, you know, all those dark mages are like, how you doing, Arnea? Guess what I got? Giant diamond shaped AOEs because I'm a dark unit and we hit the whole map from across the map and it's really busted. So... I would just go with maybe like a Paladin sub here. You could leave on Saintly Wall and Sentinel, those self buffs, um, and then just let her roll in with that. I would turn off Taunting Spell. Uh, I prefer to have Agrius just uh, use her status effect moves. Like okay. all, leave all those on. Let her go in there and just drop her status effects. And then for your other two, Laswell obviously just needs a self buff because he must Mirage. With Aranea, you could leave her group buff on, but you again run the risk of her running to Agrius to buff. So I would just go for like self-buffing TMRs and self-buffs for Agrius and Arnea. Let them just run at the enemy, look to chain with each other. And uh, yeah, these are good units for cutting down tanks because Pierce is often not super built against. Just make sure you're getting as much defense piercing as you can in here uh, because even though they might not be building anti-Pierce, you and both know. these units can do it. Defense can still block you. Okay. So there we go. But you have that sweet defense piercing rate from the uh, Shiva's Chosen Vision card, which is real nice. And if you happen to find some wind teams, you will also slap them down too. You yes. Extra bit of wind resistance. Create wind killer team. Perfect. Wind. Hey, and wind is pretty popular right now. So... Doom is still everywhere. Halloween oh. little Leela is still everywhere. And she's getting her master ability two buff today. So, yeah, she's back. I don't know how I feel about Was that. Was she but... ever gone? No, no. <laughs> she is the unit who, like, I mean, she's my first anti-unit. The unit that I hated the most from day one. Because, like, oh, look, it's a 70-cost healer that also AoEs your whole group from across the map and one-shots people. Oh, this is cool. Oh, she has re-raise? That's nice. She's a 100-cost unit. Yeah. Secretly. I... We all know it. We all know yeah. it. Oh, yeah, she is. All right. Okay. Well, Andy, do you have anything you'd like to tell the people? 
Um, well, thank you so much for your help and all of your videos. I am often too lazy to read uh, the news. So thank you for reading it out to us for them lazy people. Um, thank you for your help. Uh, I had a great time participating in Friday Night Fights. That was a great experience. I didn't even care about losing. It was just, <laughs> it's just, it was so smooth. The tournaments are so well handled. So thank you so much for hosting that every Friday. No, and thanks for, uh, thanks for being a big part of the Wotif community. <laughs> Hey, right back, like right back at you. Thank you so much for the raids every Friday. Uh, thank You're you my esports. <laughs> hey, it's so, yeah, esports. Esports is life, right? I look forward to Friday every week. So, <laughs> all right. Well, Indy, thank you so much for this like special video. Yeah, and, thank uh, you. Yeah, everybody, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Peace.